director is a video editor but inside you will find uh, a few templates for making slideshows have you ever wondered how your slideshow would look if you combine uh, pictures with jump cuts or you combine images with videos or you build your own slideshow using the timeline. Today I'm going around my lake to take some shots and try to show you various ways of how you can actually build a slideshow within PowerDirector. If you don't find yourself in spectacular surroundings or in the midst of a drama or a social event, you can give your nearby surroundings a closer look. There's always interesting little things to be found, little things that can make perhaps an interesting photo. To add a little drama, you can play around with saturation and channel mixing. For this little demonstration I have used only a few details. You will need a photo editor, for example Cyberlink's photo director or the freepaint.net and I will also recommend the free online editor PixelR. Once you get to know your way around in PixelR you can have lots of fun. So, after a few days of working with the photos and frames, I have now assembled all of what I think I will need in one folder. And inside that folder there are more specialized folders. I have customized backgrounds and frames I will use in PD's templates. And by the way, you will find tutorials on how to do this on PD2's channel. Organizing like this makes my, and I believe PD's, editing work a little easier. I always place this working folder in C drive, but that's my preference. Once I've done with the work, I can just delete this folder. But now, finally, the actual editing can start. Now I've used the camera view template to customize two very short sequences. I've used the high resolution frames you can get at PD2's channel. But see here, you have a transition here that's not to my liking. It's kind of whitish fade and I want to cut that out. And so I find the right spot and I uh, cut it and I remove it. And um, then you have uh, another uh, short uh, camera view and the same thing is happening here with the kind of whitish fade transition that I don't want to have. So I cut that out as well find the right uh, sort of space here to um, make a cut just about there I split it and I find the other end it's not that extremely important because I'm going to put a transition in there again I split it and I remove that part Okay, so now uh, in camera view the photos are sort of floating in space so I want to have a 3D transition uh, I kind of like these blocks and I will just make it a little bit shorter One twenty should do it perhaps press OK and then I have my transition but see now there's a black space behind it 
and I'm not sure I like that. I would like to put another uh, um, video behind it. And so I have a red and yellow that may suit to put behind the transitions. And here I have the transition uh, put upon a video background. And now you can see, well, anyway, to me it looks better. In uh, the end of this little sequence, I have a black fading. And for the purpose of further editing, I'll just leave it there so I have something to work with when I'm done with it.